Welcome back friends to a beautiful day on the homestead. This is the first day shooting with the new camera. Things will look a little bit different for a few days until I get everything kind of sorted out. I got new audio, so all that stuff is a bit of a learning curve. Gone is the 5D Mark IV, or soon to be gone, uh, and we'll be shooting now with uh, the new EOS R. So uh, I'm excited about that. Nice to have a flip out screen again. So today uh, we're gonna be going down and uh, working on the RAM pump. Uh, pulling that apart. It's time for that to get a whole rebuild. I, I left it in, so I don't know. There'll probably be some damage from the winter. We'll get that all sorted out and all the materials supplied. Jack's on day three with the stump, still picking away on that, so we'll check on that with him, and then uh, we'll just see where the day takes us. It seems like I always have big plans, and I get done about half of what I want to, but that's okay. It's not about the end results. It's about the journey, right? There's a wind in from the desert Red dust blows across the sun It bleeds into the evening How was your run? Good. How many miles today? Only three. So we're still going to Boston? Yeah. All right. Well, there's a lot of people getting excited. It? We'll be there. Uh, I have to qualify first. Well, yeah, I, I got to go there so I can get a cannoli. Oh, we best do Italian like food I've ever had. Yeah, it was really good. Well, we had so much sec fun. second best. The best would be in Portland. <laughs> Uh, so what do you have planned today? Watching the baby clean in the house, paying some bills, gardening. How about you? We'll see you out in the garden later. Right. Uh, I gotta go down and get the ram pump and the irrigation stuff going and then uh, we'll meet you back in the garden. I ruined the orchard irrigation. I need your assistance. I might I'm, need some garden orchard. I know. We haven't got the, I've been hand watering everything so we need to get the irrigation system I'm, up again. I'm on it today. You know, you can always blame the baby because she has just taken my time. I haven't done nearly as much as I would like. But it's a time well spent. Your main job is to be a mom. Everything else is secondary. I imagine the majority of you guys know what a ram pump is. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't seen it or you're new to the channel, uh, it's, a, it's a pump that we used uh, to move water up to our water tower that doesn't require any energy, uh, it, just two check valves. Uh, it's a very fascinating uh, water pump. Uh, it's an inch and a quarter pump, and I, I think I estimated that it moves close to a little over a half a million gallons a year uh, with no energy. So stay tuned for that. We'll, uh, we'll bring it up here into the shop, and I think we'll have to rebuild some of the valves. So uh, gonna need some tools to get that thing pulled apart. Three things. I think you could pretty much do anything with a screwdriver. We're going to try the new pipe wrench, the Knipex. Thank you very much. Apparently I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, the big Lou sent me. We'll try that out and some channel locks. I think, but with these three tools, you, a guy could do pretty much anything. Boy, the old ramp pump didn't do too good through the winter time. Wasn't too overly concerned about it. It was uh, pretty much at the end of its service life. The check valves were, I'd already rebuilt them once. We'll uh, take it up to the shop, see what we can salvage. I don't know why it's separated here. It must, maybe the ice did the, oh, that's right, I disconnected it. I disconnected it uh, from the water line here, let's see. What is this? Okay, I remember. Yeah, so last year we ran the, the little ram pump here. Uh, this was a three quarter inch and the original one was an inch and a quarter that my buddy, uh, buddies from Land to House made uh, for us. That's a little tiny one right there. We're gonna put the big one in. The problem with the tiny one is it just didn't quite move enough water and it had a little trouble with all the elevation that we're lifting. So this is the big one that we'll want to rebuild here. So let's pull these pieces apart and then uh, check the steel pipe and see if that's all survived the winter. So you guys remember, it was a week or two ago, uh, 
the boys, we went over and we did that video with the boys, uh, teaching the boys to build that, uh, that little uh, well pump deal. Uh, that was such a hit and the boys enjoyed that so much, we're gonna continue with that. Now, unfortunately, we're not able to, Jack and I weren't able to finish it up because we were gone at the Thunder Ranch, uh, the Urban Rifle. Uh, and they did, they got it done while we were gone, but we're gonna, I've got to do another project. So every Tuesday, uh, we're gonna have the kids, uh, well, twice a month actually, come over um, and do some uh, projects to teach them. All these boys are homeschooled. Uh, we're gonna get some of the girls involved as well. And what I'm gonna have them do, I think, or we're just kind of talking it out, is, is Tuesday nights they're gonna get to go together and, and they go into town and, and have a movie night or, or hang out, you know, hang out together. Um, because they are really, they're all, they homeschool together and they meet for class once a week and they're all pretty tight friends now. This is, thank you, Lou. This, I'll tell you what, this thing has become a mainstay in the shop. It is the best pipe wrench. It's so superior. I wish I had another one. It's so superior to the other, to the, just the old ones uh, in every way. I'm surprised. I, th I thought it was a little weird when I saw it. I'm like, what is that thing? But it is, uh, it is good. Boy, this old stuff's rusted. Uh, so to every so twice so every other Tuesday we're gonna have them. Uh, they'll get to go to town and, and have a movie night or whatever they want to do pizza and and then the others um, I'm gonna have them come out here and do projects. So one of the projects uh, I'm gonna put Jack in charge of it is uh, trenching, digging about and laying a bunch of pipe because uh, this ram pump pipe has just been sitting on top of the ground and it gets chewed up by the mower and all that. I want to get it buried. It's been a project I've been putting off. So I'll have him do that and, and um, kind of be in charge of that. And then the kids will do all the pipe and they'll do the grading and the backfill and all that stuff and get everything hooked up. Well, that's all clogged up there. I see with the valve open here, we're not getting any water or very little, just a little trickle out of there. So something must be wrong with the drive pipe. Uh, so let's follow this up. Drive pipe, if you don't understand exactly what's going on here with the ram pump, don't dismay. We'll, uh, I'll explain it all when we're putting it together. But I fear that we have either a clog or maybe a broken pipe here. Here's the vent breather. That's dry, so there's no water getting to that, so the problem is still up here somewhere. Well, here's part of our problem, that coupler there has come loose. I don't know if there was a little too much strain on it because of that deflection and it stripped that out but it looks like it can be re-threaded on there but we still got no water coming out of here so we got other problems. Looks like we're all silted up, might be all silted up here at the inlet. feel it. We're starting to pull now. Now we're pulling. Well the good news is the upper section is clear. Uh, we'll have to make that connection and then see if the rest of it, how the rest of it's doing. I'm gonna go get the trimmers and trim this up. This is just too hard to work in here right now. How's it going over here, Jack? Pretty good. I saw it moving. Yeah, a little bit. See it to wiggle? Yeah. Once you get that thing to quiver, it's uh, you own it. So this is day three. You got a pretty big hole going there. I think you might have it out today. Hopefully. All right. Well, do you need any help or you got it? Huh? Do you need any help or you or do you I'm have good. it? Good. Okay.
15 years ago, it's hard to imagine. It always surprises me what a little fresh fuel will do. This will be, uh, these are called, people always ask, what's a dolmar? I refer to these as dolmars. This is a dolmar, that's what we call it in wildland fire, uh, combination gas bar oil can. 50 to one. Uh, some guys ask which, oh, <laughs> compressor turned on. Uh, which bar oil and gas I use. I only use uh, premium mix like steel or Lucas or AMS oil. Um, as far as bar oil goes, I don't care. Just as long as it's on sale, it doesn't seem to matter that much. You want to be sure and lubricate that, uh, the blade there. They're kind of a scissor action to go back and forth. Okay, on, choke. I don't like these, this, carb, this uh, carburetor's got that little pump deal on there. I don't, I hate to see those things on equipment because they dry rot. This one seems to be okay, but maybe on the lower end ones there seem to be worse. How many poles is it gonna take? Or is it gonna start at all? Choke on, primed. Choke off. Now choke back on, I think. That's exactly why I've been telling you guys to store this stuff dry. Can you imagine what this, the problem would have been if we had left fuel in it? What's up, Jack? Uh, I think you might want to bring the camera over. I think I can bring it out. Is it time to pull the stump? I think I might be able to, yeah. All right, let's do it. That looks great, Jack. Well, you really got that picked out underneath there, don't you? Yeah. All right, well, fire it up. Let's see if it moves. You, uh, you got the... Uh, you got your set there right. You have more strength pulling downhill mm -hmm. than uphill, so that was smart. done. How much time did you have into that? Uh, like 30 hours or something. <laughs> so a lot of folks were asking why we did it this way. 
wouldn't there be an easier way? And yeah, the easiest way would probably be to... Explosives. Explosives. I'll have to tell you the story about Charlie and the explosives and the stump one time. Have I told you about that? No. Well, I'll, I'll share that story sometime. Uh, the other way would be to, to grind it. Give me a stump, stump grinder out. That's typically the way it, usually it's done. Uh, I wanted Jack to do this just to have the experience and uh, some time on the machine and um, and, and it's, it's kind of homeschooling, like kind of like shop class. Yes. Right. Thirty-hour shop class. Yeah. So, what did you learn? What would you do different next time? Uh, use explosives. <laughs> They're not as easy to get as they used to be. My dad told me. Well, I knew back in the day you could go down to the Grange, Granger, uh, and buy dynamite, buy the box or crate or whatever. And uh, he blew rocks and stumps, I believe. I, I know I had. I, I've heard guys have done that before, but you know now, of course, you can't have any more fun. I think it was better to, even though there wasn't internet and opportunities, I think some, a lot of things were better back then. All right, let's go down there and take a look, see what was underneath that big monster sitting there for 300 years or so. It didn't have much of a center root, did it? Well, actually, it's uh, several roots. They will go down uh, for water. And, you know, it could be maybe being the water table so high here that it uh, didn't need it. Mm -hmm. maybe, it so maybe they kind of push it. They push them down when need be, but those roots just get down there and they just wrap around tr rocks and dirt and whatever they can find, just like a, an octopus. Now what are you going to do? Ah, uh, yes. I don't know. <laughs> so here's what I want you to do. So uh, take your backhoe and uh, make a set right there uh, and then pick away, pick all that dirt off there that you can. Okay. You've got hundreds of pounds of dirt on there. Uh, it'd be hard to get it out. So pick it out as clean as you can um, and then you should be able to grab it with a thumb. Um, and if we could drag it out off to the side here, um, that would be best. And then we can hook it, grab it with the grapples and then go put it in the burn pile. Okay. Let's see if we can't get that threaded back on there. But I'm not sure is if we can even turn this lower pipe. We might have to disassemble each piece starting from the bottom so that we can and then start re-threading. I'll give it a shot here. If we can get these things in line, we might be able to do it. If these, if these threads are too damaged, we'll have to re-thread that pipe. So here's, yeah, let's see. It doesn't have to be watertight. It just has to transport the, oh, that's a good sign. This is a good wrench, Lou. Every time, whenever I need recommendations for firearms or different things, or I call my friend Lou, and he always knows the good stuff. Got it. So what we need to do, there's a lot of pressure on this guy right here, because I need to stake this or get a boulder or something on it to keep that from pulling out again. So this here is where we convert from two inch to inch and a quarter. This is my stand pipe. Think of it as like a plumbing vent. And what I don't know is if all the connections are good on the other end. That's just an open piece of pipe. I, when I first did the ram pump, it didn't work. I, or I was getting some water issues. I don't remember all the details, but I had to add this vent. Um, I think it was creating a suction or vacuum or something. I'll to, I, I guess I'll have to go back and watch my own video so I can remember why I put that in. Uh, let's go see if we're getting water at the valve. All right, that's what I was hoping for. I've had, prob 
had a problem a couple years ago where this, uh, it got some pine cones on that inlet side. I put a piece of uh, screen door mesh with a zip tie, tie around it. And then every, every week or so I come down and just, you know, clean pine cones away. One time it got knocked off or something and um, it got a bunch of pine cones and stuff in here. And I had a hard time getting that cleaned out, but we've got a, that's how much water. We got a good flow there. We've got a gate valve on there, and that's what will hook up our, our ram pump directly to that. So that'll be, that'll be good. I'm just going to let that run. No, I think I'll close it off. I'll close it off. And then we'll have, uh, we'll open that up when we put our valve on, or our uh, pump on. So I guess that's probably about all the time we have for today. Next time... We'll go up in the shop and I'll show you how to build your own ram pump. You can just do it for probably around $100 with fittings that you can just get at any hardware store. It's a very simple and amazing ingenious invention that's been around for hundreds of years. Uh, just think of what it would take resource wise, if you're talking about electricity or gas, to move a half a million gallons of water uh, over the period of a year. And here you can do this with nothing more than uh, uh, the grace of God and gravity, right? So it's an amazing thing. So we'll go build that next time and then we'll get it installed and uh, uh, hear it run or yeah, let it click away. Um, I think what I'll have is, is uh, I'll have the boys come over um, and start digging and trenching. It's a, hundreds of feet up uh, to the water tower. Uh, we can get that line underground, get it buried so we don't, uh, we're not uh, damaging it. It's not getting beat up by the mower. Uh, it'd be nice to get that done and then it'll be a lot more permanent. So if you enjoy these videos, uh, please comment. Don't forget to click the thumbs up. And um, if we invite you to, to join, there's a membership tab on our homepage and you get to see the videos uh, 24, hour in 24 hours in, in advance. And uh, let me know how the new camera looks. I, I'm experimenting with a whole bunch of different things. We got new, uh, new audio, uh, which is a lot more convenient than what I had before and an ND filter. So it might be a little dark until I get that figured out. And of course the new camera and, and we'll uh, see how it goes. I'm looking at it in the view screen. It looks a little bit dark, but I can't tell. Philistines. I can't tell um, until I see it on the, on the edit. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video. There's a wind in from the desert. Red dust blows across the sun. It bleeds into the